to Smithshot Films, the channel that gives you tips, tutorials, and reviews for beginning filmmakers. Today, I want to talk about these lenses. These are the premium lenses for the Insta360 1X2. And you may be wondering, like I was, why exactly are these premium lenses and why are we paying $50 for this as opposed to $20 for the regular plastic ones? So here's what I found so far. The standard lens is attached by sticky tape and it's not super convenient to use. They're not waterproof and mostly just splash proof and they're made of plastic. The premium lens guards actually clamp around the X2 with a pretty secure locking system. They're waterproof up to 10 meters and actually made of glass. You'll also notice that the premium lens guards are pretty substantial and that might translate into protecting your lens and your camera a little bit better. They weigh in at 39 grams as opposed to the plastic, which is um, just uh, thin plastic. Now I will say that the premium lens guards are made of a thin glass, which should give better visuals, but it won't stop a chip or a scrape or a break if you drop this on a hard surface like concrete. I guess the whole point is that the lens guard breaks and not your camera or your camera lens. Because if you get a scrape or a scratch on that, you're going to see it in every shot. And the only way to fix it is to send it back to the manufacturer. You're going to have to pay $120. It's going to take a couple of weeks and you just really want to avoid that. I am speaking from experience. I did scratch my lens a few days after I bought the camera. Check out this link above if you want to see that disaster. Is there a difference in the quality of footage that you get using the premium lens as opposed to the regular lens? Well, here's some footage that I shot using the premium lens. So this is the X2 with the premium lens guard. And next I'll test the X2 with the regular lens guard. I honestly don't think it's going to make much of a difference in the way that the picture looks. But why not do it? It's a beautiful morning, so. So if you're wondering how I got this shot, I'm using the Insta360 1X2, an extension rod, and what they call a bath bar, which connects to the extension rod. In the software, the camera, extension rod, all of that stuff is erased and it kind of looks like the camera is just floating in front of me. I apologize for the sound, it's not ideal. And now here it is compared to the footage I shot using the regular lens. One of the things I noticed was that there's a little bit of a black line where I didn't perfectly place the standard lens guards. And I think that's one of the drawbacks of the standard lens guards is that you, you have a little bit more trouble placing them exactly where they need to be so that they don't show up in the footage. In this case, it really would just ruin the footage. So I'm thinking if you're going to use the X2 in situations like sports or mountain biking or somewhere where it might fall and hit something hard on a regular basis, you probably want to go with the regular $20 lens protectors because if you get the premium, you're going to be shelling out $50 all the time every time you have to replace them. Now, on the other hand, if you use your camera more for wet locations, pools, surfing, things like that, maybe even diving, then the premium lens is going to be a better option because it is waterproof up to three meters and you're gonna get a better result in your footage because you won't have that little bit of water that gets in between the lens and the lens protector and then it can fog up and ruin your shot. 
so so my main problem with the regular lens is actually water or condensation getting in between the lens and the lens guard and that's why i do actually like the premium lens better it it connects over the x2 very securely and it's waterproof and usually i don't notice that the water has gotten in between there until i'm completely done with the shot or if i'm trying to film a time lapse and then some condensation gets on the lens and ruins the entire time lapse ultimately like every filmmaking tool depends on what your specific needs are and how much money you have available well, that's it for me. Those are my pros and cons for using the premium lens for the Insta360 1X2. I hope you found them useful. And if you're planning on picking up the Insta360 1X2, there are some links in the description. This video is not sponsored by Insta360, but if you use those links in the description, I will get a small commission, which helps me make more videos like this. If you got some value out of this video, please hit that like and also make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications. If you subscribe and turn on notifications, you'll get notified whenever I post new videos. Also, your subscription in YouTube will give you a place to come back to these videos if you want to watch them again or something that you didn't get a chance to finish watching while you started it. So make sure that you subscribe. So I'll see you guys in the next video with more beginner filmmaker tips. Until then, stay creative.